We can all agree mods in ETS2 give us a much better experience in comparison to playing the vanilla game without modifications. We have a lot of mod categories in ETS2 and a lot of the game elements can be modded. These categories include backgrounds, game sounds, graphics and weather, physics, tuning parts, traffic or AI mods, skins, trailers, tracks and maps. I would like to cover two main ways to install ETS2 mods as we have others like when trying to install local mods to use on TMP or save editing. We can consider the latter as not major but an advanced level of modding which needs a different tutorial. Before we cover how to mod, you first need the mods. There are different locations where you can acquire your mods from. They include but they are not limited to Steam Workshop, trackymods.io, the SCS forum and modland.net. Some mod creators prefer to upload their mods on specific sites, thus they may not be found on third party platforms. A good example of this is ProMods where you need to visit their site, then create an account to download the mod files. There's a note here, we have a lot of free mods, but there are paid mods too. The common thing is that they all follow the same procedure when installing them. There are two ways to install mods. A, the mods you download and save in your PC, in brackets, local mods, and B, Steam workshop mods. I am going to start with Steam Workshop mods as they are the easiest to install. You start by accessing your game in the Steam library and click workshop. Now you have access to thousands of mods added by mod creators. There's a search bar right here. Use this to look for mods and you can also opt to use the categories we have on the right to browse the mods in a specific category or a mod type. When you find a mod you are looking for, there will be this green subscribe button to download it. Ensure you read a mod's description as it's crucial when a mod depends on another mod to work or where the mod needs to be placed in the mod manager. Let me use two examples to demonstrate this. Uh, we'll start with a mod we all need when tracking in TS2, Sound Fixes Pack by Drive Safely. I'm going to search the mod and click it from the results, then scroll down to read the description. Take a note of the minimum requirements. When using this mod with any map mods, you will need to ensure it has a higher priority in the mod manager. The same case with any AI mods and any rain sounds. Thus, it should be something like this in your mod manager. The second example I am going to use is the Scania logo for Scania NG improved dashboard mod by Night Gaming. Scrolling down, we notice there's a note on how to use it and an attention note. We notice this mod need to be used together with another mod titled Scania NG improved dashboard and you need to give it a higher priority than the dashboard. Thus, you will click on the highlighted text, this one right here, and subscribe to the dashboard mod. Then in your mod manager, it should be something like this. Night Gaming has also added a screenshot of the same. Thus, go through the mod page to ensure you can read everything. After you've subscribed to a mod, it's going to install and what's remaining is for you to activate in your profile using the mod manager. A tip, you can access Steam Workshop when in the mod manager where you can search, subscribe to a mod or even unsubscribe to the same. Now let's check on mods you've downloaded and saved in your PC. We can refer to them with a simple term as local mods. When you are downloading them, ensure you read the full description on how to place them and which other mods they are compatible with or not. After you have downloaded your mod file, many of them will be zipped but others are not. For the zipped files, use an extractor, for example WinRAL or 7-zip to extract your files. You will have access to a file or files with extension .scs which is the mod we need. Proceed to copy the mod and head to your documents. Then open the folder Eurotrack Simulator 2. In here you will look for the mods folder if you do not have one create it. Then open and paste your mod or your mods in here. With this the mod is now accessible when in the mod manager. Proceed to open the game, then access the manager, activate the mod in your profile, and you are ready to use it. This is the process of adding mods to your game, but I have a couple of uh, notes to make. Note number one, some mods do work when you restart your game. I have experienced this with a lot of Scania V8 sounds. Note number two, when you add multiple map mods, 
there's a specific load order to follow depending on the maps you are using. Ensure you research a lot and see what's working and what's not. I am going to link this guide by Vini Terranova as it's one of the best and it's always updated. Note number three, there is what's called a load order when it comes to organizing mods in the mod manager. In a nutshell, the mod placed on top of the mod manager will be loaded last while a mod placed at the bottom will be loaded fast. Mods like pro mods when combined with other mods require you to follow a specific order to be loaded. I have always followed this guide by Davidin. It's titled load order for recommended compatible maps. We have a very good order of how you should place the files and they do not give me any problems. Note number four, mods do conflict and they can also cause major issues to your game. Ensure you keep your mods updated and when removing mods like track parts, it's good to remove the mod from your track first in the game before you deactivate the mod from your profile. Note number five, there are map mods, for example, Battleland and the likes of Rotofactor, which will require you to add them as a map module to play them. To do this, with the mod in your mod manager, click Manage Profiles, then New Profile. Fill in all the details and finally click on the top left to access the mod manager. Activate your map mod and this should allow you to change the module. Click on the map module and choose your map mod. With that, you are ready to load and play on the map. Note number six, this is a personal recommendation. Use different profiles when you are using mods. Depending on the different game modes or mods, you can duplicate your own profile. Thus, you don't have to start from scratch. And when you start from scratch, for example, when using a different map module, you can use this mod Profile Jumpstart Cache and XP Boost by Davidin. It does help me get to level 36 and acquire enough cash to spend, as the goal is to enjoy the map module but not to grind my way up. I have done a short video on how to duplicate your own profile and it will be linked below in the description. Stay safe as you browse through different websites to download mods. To see how you can activate the free camera and teleport in ETS2, you can watch this video. And to see my trip in South America on Mapa EAA, you can watch this video right here. You are all amazing. Have a good day and always remember that you are the best. Thank you and bye bye.